In this video we will show how to repair taps on a plastic bumper. Here are some examples of damages. Often the damage is caused when another vehicle bumps a car, or driving into something, and the bumper absorbs the impact. The taps are meant to break to reduce the damage on the vehicle body. There are several steps to repairing a tap. Here is an animated repair. First, we remove the paint with a DA sander. At the same time V-groove the damaged end of the taps. Important is that both sides are V-grooved. Welding with the plastic fusion, first one side of the tap. Squeeze the welded strip. Bend the welding strip. Weld it. And squeeze the other side. Let it cool off a bit. Next weld the lower side. Making sure to change the direction of the welding nozzle, while welding over the open area. At the end squeeze the welded area with the plastic vise. Let's get started. Using a DA sander, with a 80 to 240 grid sandpaper. Remove the paint around the damaged area. Making sure that at least 10 millimeters around damaged area the paint is removed. V grooving the top and the lower part. Also make sure the lower area is cleanly sanded. Welding first the upper part. Here you can see the angle of the heating nozzle and applying pressure to the welding area while welding. Once welded squeeze the welded section. Next bend the welding strip and weld the other side. Also here we squeeze the welded area. Next we weld the lower area, all the way through without stopping. The only thing it watch out for, is the change of the welding nozzle while over the single welding strip area. Again, at the end we squeeze the welded area to achieve a flat surface. Here is another example of the repair process and the finishing process. We will repair this broken tap. First we remove the paint locally with the DA sander. Then we start with the fusioning on the plastic strip. First from the top side. Pressing it with the plastic pliers. Then we make a bridge to the other side. and press it into shape and also to cool it off. The next we will fusion on the lower part with a strip for reinforcement. Once the general shape is achieved, we press the form into shape with the plastic pliers. Afterwards we form the outside shape of the tab with the sander.
We also sand on top and bottom of the tab to attain the right thickness, so that it will fit into the tab holder. Now we select the ideal tip for the piercing pliers. There is a selection of tips available from different round shapes to square shape tip and different sizes of rectangular shapes. With the right tip selected we pierce the opening into the tab. If the tab is larger you can pierce multiple times to attain the right shape and dimension. Any minor modification or fine-tuning of the opening can be done with the different type of plastic files which are included in the plastic piercing set. If you want more information go to our webpage, vtaginnovation.com.